chose these seven stories, which kind of brings us back to all these historical moments. And all these moments and facts, they are a lack of visual representation or documentation. So that gives us room to reimagine visually on how these stories go. It's important that we tie all our stories to space. So like each of the stories relate to the building on, in which it's projected on. I think we wanted to discuss some historical moments that the Pada has been part of. Uh, whether it was uh, periods in World War II or more recent history that have been held at this build building. For the, for the Padang area, it was once like covered in white sand. So we used that as a kind of metaphor and a medium in which to kind of create the animation. For the former Supreme Court, what we want to capture is the transformation of the building in terms of its function. To us, we see it's like how it's like from Lady Justice as a Supreme Court who's impartial and blind, and how it is the eyes are opening to symbolise how the building is now synonymous with the world of visual arts as National Gallery. We wanted to highlight one of Singapore's most important artists, Zubi Syed. Principally, I wanted to use the metaphor of hands, which was appropriate because he was a pianist. I guess it's a symbolic piece featuring the trials and tribulations of his career and then from this like cultural icon working on films and music to becoming the composer of our national anthem. We are featuring a story on the first resident of Singapore, William Farquhar. There is this story where to counter the case of the infestation of rats, he actually did a bounty for rats. So in the piece, how it's featured is like these rats revolting within these beautiful paintings of flowers, plants and all that. And how they can just have collapsed and going back to the beauty of the piece itself. We wanted to tell the story of people within the, the vicinity of the Singapore River. So for example, for the start, we spoke about Badang who like placed the Singapore stone. After that, we were talking about the Singaporean coolie about their significance and their story in the context of the Singapore River. For the Victoria Clock Tower, now we know it's an institution for performing arts. But historically, there are other lesser known facts. It started off as a municipal office for administration. But then again, it's also the birth of a performing element because that's where they used to hold balls and dances. And then lastly, Victoria Theatre is also now the home of uh, the Singapore Symphony Orchestra. What's uh, interesting about this building in terms of cartographically, the area outside Empress Place building is the point zero on the map in Singapore and how it becomes a point of cultural convergence of various cultures from around the world. We want the audience to rethink about all these lesser known stories in history and of course the historical weight that the Civic Art District carries and how it has shaped us to what we are today. <laughs>